Good morning, Adobe Muse fans. Well, morning for me at least. Uh, this is Russell over here at Doodaddle Widget Works. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, our newest release. It's going to be Quick Estimate 5 and uh, some of the new features as well as uh, some of the new functionality. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm in Muse right now. You'll notice I have some numbers modules and this is our new uh, toggle module as well as our new flip toggle module that we have and this is also a brand new to quick estimate 5 and this is a new slim range that we have all of these new modules are going to be responsive so you can set these to any of the responsive modes up here at the top this toggle we're calling toggle GUI so it does have some cool functionality I'll show you in a minute here but uh, these are really easy to style and use, and I tried to take most of the styling out of the widget itself so you didn't have to go into the options panel because going into that options panel slows you way down in the design process. So the coloring, sometimes the fonts, and the color of the fonts um, can be done all within the Adobe Muse, which speeds things up because if you know, if you've ever had to modify a lot of individual widgets, it takes some time. So anything to kind of speed things up I'm all for and you'll notice the fills up here for here so we can change this fill if we wanted to let's go ahead and just give it a little different look you can kind of see that how that's affecting it and this also had a stroke on it you could uh, change the stroke to whatever you want maybe you want a black stroke but you can quickly change other features that are within its own design panel here so and you can kind of see it's been stripped down to a few elements um, your selection color of course and then the slider and you can set the transparency of that slider so you can actually show some of that background through so that makes it nice I'll leave that one the way it is so we can preview it some of the other new features that are a part of quick estimate 5 are you can have multiple totals on the page and let's say you wanted to connect all of these three widgets to this module. Um, all you have to do is give your total module a name and then repeat that name within these modules here. So you'll see that each of these widgets have the name of total to connect it to. All right, let's see. You'll notice that each of the Quick Estimate 5 modules will have this total module name in it now. Um, that was one of the other features that we've kind of added in to be able to have that functionality of having multiple totals on the page. One of the small upgrades is that you can have pre-total prior to user interaction. So you're not staring at a zero dollar amount. So once they start toggling or making a selection, this total will now drop out and it'll actually populate with the actual total, which is nice. So let's go ahead and preview this in browser so you can kind of see the features. Oh, well, actually, let me do one more thing. Let's go ahead and resize this guy. Um, if you remember the old toggle module, uh, you couldn't see the actual button. It was kind of shoved way up, up top. Um, and that was part of how that particular module was designed. And it, I wasn't really too thrilled about it because you couldn't really see what it looks like in, in Adobe Muse. So um, we kind of re-envisioned this whole module and um, I think it's a, a fairly large improvement. And the way it uh, works within a Muse is uh, pretty good. So you can kind of scale it out however you want. Let's say we wanted it to be as wide as this box. We can do that. And now that we've stretched it out, you'll notice that this padding doesn't make sense at that size. So we can easily change that. We can go into our design options, take our, our padding to maybe like, well, we'll do one and see what that looks like. And I know a lot of people aren't into shading, so let's go ahead and flatten this guy out. We're going to go with, let's 
or charcoal maybe. Let's try that. We'll hit this as a solid. Good. Um, let's make a few other adjustments. Since we want this to be a flat design for this particular one, um, let's go ahead and remove some of our shadowing. And you'll notice that is another area that I kind of worked on, uh, but uh, we can drop the shadow here. That will remove any shadows. We have that zero. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and see what this looks like. We can kind of see how easy it is to quickly switch a design and look and feel to a button around pretty quickly and easily. So you'll notice right away is that the GUI effect allows you, if you press and hold, you get like this kind of springboard look, which is nice. And if you just click once, it, you don't really see that. So it's, it's all about their user interaction with these. So it gives you a nice, more tactile feel. So that's a nice, simple, clean toggle. Um, if I wanted to kind of even brighten that up more, I could take the actual percentage of transparency I have set here. Um, one being a full 100% and 0.5 is going to be 50%. Uh, so let's go ahead and change this to, since it's a flat design, I'm going to change it to one. And now we should have a nice bright white button. You do have some um, changes that you can make with the GUI effect to make it like more intense or less intense. So if that's something you like. You can actually control the how far that button spreads out when you press down on it, which is nice. So let's go ahead and preview this to browser. Nice. So you can kind of get get an idea of. Um, how that works, how easy it is to kind of style and whatnot. Um, this new range is uh, nice. Every, and like I said, all these are responsive. So let's go ahead and change this one to responsive. I have it set for none right now. We're going to do change to responsive with. Um, I'm going to make it bigger just kind of display purposes here. I'm going to also do the same with this one. Stretch this out. Now, in theory, if everything works out just right, these should kind of shrink together um, with the page size. So this is set for responsive, that's set for responsive. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll slowly change the size of our screen. And at any point, you can kind of come in and grab it or toggle it. So that's a big improvement on some of the new modules. And before, we could only have one total on the screen at a time. This is another improvement that we added. I think it was in between releases idea that I thought was a great idea so we added it in and it's uh, to be able to toggle on and off elements especially important with uh, product displays so like if you wanted to kind of show additional features or something to that product you could actually toggle it on and see it within the design if you use like an image overlay like a transparent image overlay Prior to this release, numbers, for instance, you could only have four numbers on it, or no, five numbers, I believe, because it was the number functionality was built into the totals module. No longer is that the case, and you can actually put as many number modules you want on the page, and it'll work just fine. All right, well, um, this should be released shortly, um, probably by the end of this week or early next week so um, keep an eye out for that and uh, we'll make some posts for that and you'll see that on our, our Facebook page so have a great day